The days of navigating the web by pointing and clicking with a traditional hardware mouse may soon be over. That's the vision of a startup called Three Gear, which just raised $1.9 million in funding. Here to show us the computer vision technology is Three Gear's co-founder and CEO, Robert Wang. Show me what's going on here. Sure. Uh, so we have a camera right here. And what we're doing at Three Gear is understanding what your hands and fingers are doing. We're trying to build gesture recognition that actually works. So what I'm doing right now is uh, on, on the bottom here, the, it's what the camera is seeing. And on the top is we're inferring each of the fingers, their motion, the, uh, the joint angles, the bones of your hands. And we can use that to control your computer. So here I have a, a web page. I can point at things. I can click on something by just uh, um, bending my finger like a, like almost like a trigger. I can go kind of backward or forward. I can scroll like this. And this is a different way of interacting with your computer with gesture. Uh, now, we think this is actually a, a very powerful approach of interacting with your computer. First of all, you don't have to be hunched over your keyboard all the time. Uh, second of all, you can um, actually use all 10 of your fingers. You can you know, grab things with your finger like this. We can actually understand and recognize those gestures. Uh, so we're trying to make gesture recognition and bring uh, that really works and bring it to consumers. OK. It looks awesome when you're doing it. Can I try it? Sure. OK. So you're going to have to uh, calibrate your hands for a second. It just takes one second. Okay. Just hold out your hand like this. Uh, just one? Yeah, that's, that's fine. Uh, and now point with your index finger to start controlling the mouse. Uh, so if you move back just a little bit, oh. you're at the top of the screen. OK. Uh, so if you come down a little bit. <laughs> OK. Yeah. So uh, now try clicking on something just by, by like a like trigger? almost like pulling a trigger and, and letting go. Cool. Yeah. OK. That's right. This is a lot nicer than being hunched over a computer. Yeah, that's right. And I suppose the future is that web pages could have a lot more going on that allows you to use all 10 of your fingers eventually. That's right. I mean, in the future, we'll be able to control not only the content inside the web page, but you know, the windows in your, in your window manager, like your, your Mac or Windows computer, move windows around, maximize, minimize, the, control the volume. Uh, maybe when you're watching YouTube, right, you don't have to click on that tiny little nub to move forward or back in your video. You can just do a gesture to do that. And what is it that you all at 3Gear have figured out? What's so special about your setup here? Basically, it boils down to the computer vision uh, problems that we've solved. So actually figuring out what your fingers and hands are doing is a very difficult problem. Um, recognizing even what your, where your hand is in a scene. Uh, but actually getting to the fidelity that we can track all 10 of your fingers has been a computer vision problem that we've been really focused on solving for the last uh, couple years, actually. So that sounds like a primarily software thing, but you've also created all of this in a pretty small form factor of the camera. Well, this is actually a reference design. Uh, we're working with a company called PMD Tech, who is making a, a sensor uh, like this. Uh, they're actually several companies who've now built depth sensing cameras of this relatively of this form factor. Um, so this is an application that's going to be aimed at consumers. Has this kind of stuff been available in other spaces in the past for like military applications or research applications? What's the history? It's definitely been available uh, it for research purposes where people have wanted to record sequences of what human beings are doing, how they interact with, say, uh, a cockpit or a, a car or uh, just for testing, user testing purposes. Uh, and the problem with those techniques is that they've often required a, a very bulky glove. So you put on this, this bulky thing and you know, it, it can track what your hands are doing suddenly, right? But uh, it, it takes several minutes to, to set it up, to calibrate it. Uh, it's, not, it's not like what we're just showing right here, where you kind of come as you are. Uh, you, you kind of reach out and you start pointing at something, right? And now you're using your computer. <laughs> and you've raised this 1.9 million, but this isn't publicly available yet. This is still a prototype, a demo here. Um, what's the progress to getting this to, to public availability? Yeah. So we hope to launch a product sometime this year. Uh, that is actually targeted at, at consumers, people who are interested in gesture, interested in different ways of controlling their computers, uh, and also developers who want to you know, create whatever they want with this. Now, edge case here, what if I only have you know, three fingers and one thumb or something? Could this still recognize that I'm using a hand? It'll, it'll do its best, uh, but yeah, we've, we'd love to support that in the future. Cool. Okay. Well, three gear. Robert, thank you for showing us. Thank you, Colleen.